Kaduna State University was established under the Kaduna State Law promulgated in May 2004. The promulgation followed the need of boosting higher education in the northern and southern parts of the state. Consequently, two campuses were approved, one in Kaduna and the other in Kafanchan. The Department of Mass Communication Kaduna State University was established during the 2006 and 2007 academic year to run a four-year BSc degree program. In the quest to provide a conducive learning environment ideal for the study of mass communication and to match theory with practice with the aim of producing students that are well armed with knowledge of the field. The existing structure in the department was expanded as well to create more staff offices and common areas. During the interview with the head of the department, Professor Mohammed Bashir Ali, here is what he said. My name is Professor Bashir Ali. I'm the head of mass communication department, that is this department. The history of this um, department is not very long, but um, it's full of activities. The department um, uh, started um, its admission in 2006-2007 session. And uh, it started with um, Professor Ntim as the acting dean of the Faculty of Social and Management Sciences who approached me to establish the department. We started with only, I think, about four people. Myself, uh, Mala Mekaba, Mala Mejibu, and um, Mala Mkausu. The four of us started uh, the department, um, but um, later on it developed into a full-placed university um, department. Um, it, um, as such now, we have about uh, 22, 24 academic staff. I came, initially we were coming here as visitors, not as full-time staff. But in 2016, I came over as a professor in the department and met about uh, eight staff. So far we are about 24. Uh, the department specializes in different areas like uh, most mass communication departments, but its uh, major strength is in broadcasting and uh, public relations and advertising. Castle so FM uh, was established much later, and I was, at that time, I was one of the consultants. I was with the uh, Kaduna State Media Corporation. I was the consultant who set up the department. I think about uh, five, six years after, several years after the department was established. You've already mentioned the challenges. There were only four people, all of them visitors coming from Kano. Um, week, um, weekends and weekdays, yes. Um, that, um, that was one of the major uh, challenges we had. And then the second challenge was that of accommodation, office accommodation. Uh, at that time, we were just um, moving from one office to another until when we got this um, accommodation. Even now, uh, as you can see, we have uh, the challenge assisting. We admit the best students that we can find. And um, so far, our students are doing very well in the industry. That is one. Two, from the time the department was established to date, We've had several first class uh, students and um, from what we heard from people outside, our products are competing favorably with other, with other students, with other um, uh, students who graduated from other uh, universities. 
Thirdly, we are working to have uh, level-headed students. So far, we've never had any serious problem from the students. And they are among the best. They are among the well-behaved um, students in the university. Uh, that is why it's not surprising that um, uh, competition for admission into the department is very, very high. Many people, many candidates always apply to this department. Uh, one, for the quality of student, uh, staff we have. Two, for the quality of students. And three, the equipment we have. De facto HOD. When we, the department was established, um, Professor, not Professor Putin, was um, the acting HOD, acting dean, but um, no, before me there were other HODs, uh, Sandy Bello, Dr. Sandy Bello, Dr. Ayodele Joseph, Dr. Johan, that I took over from her. Way forward, future vision, we want the department to be the best, not even among the best, and uh, we're on the way. Like I told you, thanks to the Vice Chancellor, two years back there were only eight, nine of us. Now we have about uh, 20, 20 plus academic staff, and then you know our radio staff are many also, radio and television staff. So far we've already established a master's program by now our second year. We've also drafted and sent our PhD program, so we are waiting for approval. So what we want is to produce the best who can compete, not only inside the country, but outside the country. Inside and outside the country, the best students. That's our uh, mission, that's our vision. Well, um, it's not the decision of the department, it's not even the decision of NUC. What happened was that um, two years ago, some academic staff, notably Professor Patti and others, um, proposed for several reasons that um, mass communication should be unbundled. It should be unbundled because it is too heavy for students to gain meaningfully out of it. So for that reason, they sourced for and obtained resources for these. And professors all over the country and industry captains all over the country were invited. And for these two years, we have been meeting to see how this could be fashioned out. Thank God, uh, within these two years, committee were able to fashion out seven out of the existing mass communication program. So it is a good idea because even when the proposal was taken to the NUC, the NUC was really happy and they gave us the go-ahead. We found out that um, if you allow mass communication to be taught, as it is being taught now, we may be producing half-baked uh, graduates. It's not our fault, it's not anybody's fault, but um, if you know mass communication, the journey so far, you'll find that uh, from the time when it was introduced into this country, I think 1960, 62, to date many things have happened. Not only in this country, but um, all over the world. Many things, what a word, um, with the social, the introduction of social media and other things. So we feel it's, um, it's really right for this kind of um, bonding.
want our students to specialize in different areas. That's why um, when the meeting, during our meetings, uh, many people from the industry, from the academia, town, and so on, are invited and they contribute to the ICF. Very good idea. Thank you. say that they don't listen because for you to arrive at that conclusion you must have conducted the research to find out that they do that or not. So our records show that they do listen but then there are some problems of um, reach. Uh, we are licensed by the National Broadcasting Commission and um, part of the condition is that um, we should do uh, operate on 20 watt uh, transmitter which may not even go beyond the immediate environment that one is a challenge and there are other challenges which will of course know but they come from other uh, commercial uh, radio television stations but what I want you to understand is that it is not meant for us to make money. It is a training institution. So the FM is meant for us to train our students to have hands-on kind of a training so that when they go outside, they will not be confused. So the, the challenge is uh, maybe you are also referring to the issue of uh, electricity. Thank God it is improving now. So it's a challenge, but um, we are copying from the lead post we have. We can we do buy uh, diesel, and then the university also gives us. So, there are these television stations where we, we, we went there for um, orientation. So, the man they told us that it's not running programs on the television station. The television station. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask why, what's the reason why they don't be running programs? There's our television station here. License. You have to have a license also from NBC. And the university is moving towards that. Okay. We've already applied. We have the application. The university has already paid for the application fee. And then the other processes. It's not easy for has to get that license, but we'll get it. Well, we, we've already achieved a lot. Two years back, we had only nine staff, academic staff. Now we have more than that. We've introduced master's program, MSc, and then three other programs, and, uh, master's program, professional programs and communication and masters in mass communication and then MSc and we've also introduced or we hope to introduce a PhD. Uh, the, this I regard as um, achievement. And then the issue of um, uh, bundling. We've um, already finished working on three or four um, uh, departments and all programs which we intend to to take to the vice chancellor for approval so that we can uh, start perhaps as a faculty post that we want the department to be split into at least four now, four different departments so that we can have a school or a faculty. And then if we can get that, I think um, we would have done great. Thank you for being part of the program. We have come to the end of the program. On behalf of the crew, we say thank you for watching. I am Deborah James Aliang. Join us next week for another edition. Have a good day.